The doctors may not be incorrect. In fact, it's likely that they are correct, but they are not the arbiters of life and death. Uh, in life and death. Neither is the government, neither are these court systems. I mean, the court actually ruled, this is a direct quote from them, that it would be wrong and pointless to seek treatment other, in any other way. Pointless, Bob. They said it would be pointless to try anything else. I mean, what does that say to you about their view on the dignity of life? Well, it says very little about their view about the dignity of life, except that they might not have a view about the dignity of life at all. But how would they know? that it is pointless. What gives them the authority to make a determination that doctors in Rome are incompetent or incapable of making a separate diagnosis or offering a separate opinion? The fact of the matter is they are not capable of making a medical decision. The parents are not capable of making a medical decision, but they are capable of seeking the very best advice. And what has happened here is they are being denied a very basic freedom, the freedom to seek the best possible care for their child. This is an outrage. It's a violation of civilized behavior, as far as I'm concerned. This is really a, this shines a light on what happens when you give the government this kind of power. And this is a raw exercise of power. It is, and it's the complete denigration of parental rights, too. In the United Kingdom, apparently any time that parents and doctors disagree on what path to take for treatment for children, the courts in the United Kingdom tend to intervene, especially, and this is the part that's so chilling to me, as a practicing Catholic, as a woman of faith, as someone whose family uh, is, is a religious family, especially courts intervene when there's a difference between doctors and, pa doctors and families when it comes to religious beliefs. It's outrageous. And the fact of the matter is, is that the state does not have a right to make a determination about whether or not your religious belief is correct or incorrect. The government has no competence in these areas. The issue here is the right of a person to exercise their free will in protecting their own life and the life of their child. Uh, we, have, we have a tradition in the United States, uh, and frankly, it's kind of ironic the Declaration of Independence, which separated us from the British crown, affirmed that among the natural rights of every uh, of all men is the natural right to life, uh, the right that is given to us by God's creation or, or the creator God himself. Uh, the, for the state to interfere with that fundamental right is a violation of everything that we have, have worked for over the past 2,000 years of civilization to try to build up a respect for the truth, uh, for the personal human dignity and freedom of every in individual. Every individual counts, even children who are seriously ill. And every parent has a right to exercise their freedom in protecting those children and giving those children options and giving those children a chance at fighting for a better life. This is really a very serious development, I think. And I'm quite sure there's going to be a lot of rever reverberations from this case. Right. And I mean, 